I have never been so disappointed by a movie trailer and then blown away by the movie like I was with this one. Ready Player One was directed by Steven Spielberg, the all-time great. Ready Player One stars Ty Sheridan, Olivia Cook, and Ben Mendelsohn. Ready Player One takes place in the future. Um, the future at this point is kind of trash, but everyone connects through video games through this virtual reality called the Oasis. I have to say, I was really impressed by this movie. Um, I had no idea anything about it going in. I only knew what the trailers showed me, and like I said, the trailers to me were garbage. I remember I would watch I would watch a movie, and when that trailer came on, I would usually let out the biggest sigh in the world because it did not interest me at all. I didn't read the book, and maybe I should have. When I saw this movie, I walked out of the theater, and I had the biggest smile on my face. The story is interesting. Um, which I didn't expect. I expected a movie like this to be all about the different cameos that you see, um, not so much about the story, but all about, you know, ooh, there's Alien, there's Sonic, there's Hello Kitty, there's Kirby. <laughs> not only is it a story that we kind of have seen before, but it's also very original at the same time. The characters in this film are super lovable, I really like Ty Sheridan's character, he plays Wes, and his avatar's name is like Parzival or something like that, I think I'm saying that right. I really liked Olivia Cook's character, she played Artemis in the game. I really like how they implemented very subtly that she was a Twitch streamer, she was famous for that because nowadays that is super relevant. Um, gamers being super big on Twitch, on YouTube streaming. And then when you see them in the real game, it's almost like you're meeting a celebrity for the first time for some of these gamers. And that's kind of how it was when she was introduced into the movie. Wes met her at some race and automatically knew who she was. And I thought that was a super cool concept. The characters in this movie are super, super smart, almost unrealistically smart. But it does work in the sense that the movie's going in. It makes sense because in this world where video games basically bind everyone together it makes sense that their knowledge of video games their knowledge of video game lore video game creation cgi is fairly good with a movie like this where pretty much 90 percent of the movie is cgi there's going to be some scenes that are better than others there's going to be some scenes that are very obvious that it's cgi but it's nothing that took me out of the film when there's a lot of characters on the screen at one time, you can obviously tell. But it's not something that took me out of the film, it's just something that you notice. The movie was so much fun, I walked out really impressed. Um, one of the only flaws that I have with this movie is that it's just so darn long. I don't have a problem with long movies, but there is a point in this movie where it does feel like it's dragging a little bit there towards the end. And there are some action scenes where you're just like, okay, I need this to be over with to progress the movie. The movie runs about 2 hours and 20 minutes. It's actually fairly long for a movie like this, but with movies nowadays just getting longer and longer, I think the new Avengers movie is going to be like 2 hours and 45 minutes. Um, I don't have a problem. It is just there are parts in the movie where it does feel like it's dragging a little bit. It's going on a little bit too long. But So overall, I would definitely recommend this movie. Um, I'm probably going to pick up the book and read it just to compare the two and then when I finish the book I'll probably go see the movie again but and see if my review changes a little bit but for sure I have I would give Ready Player One a solid 8 out of 10 it's a movie I didn't think I was gonna love it's a movie I actually thought I was going to hate but I loved this movie I loved every second of it every long second of it but every second of this movie I loved I loved all the references I would definitely, I'm definitely buying this movie when it comes out. I definitely recommend it for anyone out there who is just looking for a fun movie if you played video games growing up. This movie should definitely pique your interest because it is, without a doubt, filled with references to childhood games, to games nowadays. It is amazing. So that is my review of Ready Player One. Guys, let me know what you thought. If you've seen it, if you haven't seen it, if you want to see it, let me know in the comments below. Um, Let's talk about Ready Player One. I want to hear what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell thing so whenever we go live, whenever we post a new video, 
you will get updated. We post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On the weekends, we do a live podcast where you can join in, talk to us, and just listen to us rant for a couple hours. The podcast will be up on SoundCloud and on iTunes. We now officially have a Patreon account. So guys, yeah, go check out our Patreon um, and please support us. So guys, thank you so much for listening to me talk about Ready Player One. Um, Good movie. Go see it. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you all next time.